Okay. Um, all right. So it looks like we're not going to get any calls on this, fellas. Let's go to the NFC East, and then uh, I guess we'll be done for tonight. But I know but, the uh, Cowboy fans about to come in hurdles, boy. Hopefully they're not in the chat. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's let's talk NFC East, man. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, last name. Bills will have ball control offense. Allen limits his mistake and play good defense. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be their plan because they can't be explosive offensively like – like they have been in the past. All right. Um, NFC East preview. Uh, I started with G last time. Let's go ahead and start with the transformer now. And uh, yeah, which way you want to go, man? How you want to do this? Boy, list in order. Okay. I know a lot of I know a lot of Philly fans are gonna hate me for this one. Mm -hmm. Dallas is gonna finish first again. No, we we'll go ahead. I got him, I got him finishing first again. All right, Philly second. Uh, Washington and the Giants. That's my order. Mm. Reason why, for some odd reason, Dallas can get it done in a regular season, man. They're, they're regular season champs. They well, get it done in the regular season. Got a big it's problem. Old season, that's always a problem. You know what you I mean? Got big, you got a big problem there, though. CD Lamb is holding out for his money. And now how long that's going to last? Like another two weeks? He's going to be back. I, I don't know. But, but go ahead, go you ahead. You don't think he's coming back? No, I mean, let, let, okay, try this. Obviously, at some point, he's going to have to come back if those fines really start racking up. But here's Jerry Jones talking about C.D. Lamb when he was asked about it, what, yesterday, I think. Are you saying there's a sense of urgency as you begin the preseason to get C.D. done? No. No? Oh, why do you say that? I'm just, uh, just, uh, I went to high school. I went to college. I don't know why I said it, but I'm just saying I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't have a sense of urgency about getting it done. It's a long Pick any reason you want. I was at no boo two days ago. Give that as a reason. So Jerry Jones has no interest or no sense of urgency in paying his best offensive weapon who's currently holding out now we also know that jerry jones after a couple of losses has a habit of caving but you know if you go down oh two and oh three we know that opportunities for making the playoffs and winning a division decrease exponentially right we know that that's what the history says that's what the math says so i don't know i don't know are they gonna pay this dude if i'm a are cowboy fan after that interview I will denounce all cowboy fandom at that point until Jerry Jones either, God forbid, leaves this earth or walks mm -hmm. away from the Dallas Cowboys. Because mm -hmm. that, that is a comment as a fan. I do not want to hear, I went to college. I went to high school. That, I don't know what that was about. What does that have to do with anything? What? I'm a Green Bay fan, not a Cowboy fan, so I almost right, passed right, right. out for them. But that, I'm just, I'm what's the frustrating keep... part? What, is that, what does that even mean? Right. You know what I mean? This man right. is... Is yeah. one of the top three receivers right now in the league yeah. based yeah, off yeah. you know his production and what he did. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about and this man is literally holding out in the camp. I and mean, you literally got the cowboy nation worried, like, okay, when are we gonna pay him? Yeah. What's the deal? What's the next yeah. step? And you're like, Oh, there's no sense of urgency. I went to high school, didn't I? I went to college, didn't I? <laughs> and then I, I, I was at Nobu two days ago. What? What are you talking what does that about? What does that even bro? mean, bro? What does that yeah, even yeah. mean? But anyway, I to me, I just feel like, you know, Dallas just knows how to get it done when it comes to the regular season. Okay. I do think CeeDee Lamb is going to come back. Um, Jerry Jones is just going to be Jerry. I mean, I can't I can't give you any information of what I think about what Jerry's going to do because I don't think I don't think Jerry thinks about what he's going to say in the next five to six seconds. So but I do think they can come out, uh, get another 12, 13 win season, you know, losing the first round like they always do and Philly end up being the ones in the uh the 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 conference finals like the, like they should be um mm -hmm. but i think i think that's what my i think that's what my order is going to be i want to say philly but i think dallas can get them by like one game so you, it's gonna be like one game so you're dallas uh philly washington new york that's where yep. you are yep. all right gee your thoughts man uh i like philly yeah i, I like philly um i like philly to go further well, who's Dallas running back? I don't even think they have a running game. I don't have a running back. Yeah, they don't have a back. So 
it's going to be pretty tough for them to, to dominate or mm-hmm. hold on a time of possession. And they can't Great shrink the, they can't shrink the, the game without mm-hmm. a run, without a running back and so. And if um, and if C D Lamb is holding out, then they need a running back. And well, you got Zeke. Yeah. Oh Zeke my God. <laughs> so so yeah. So I like I like Philly. Anymore, man. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Washington. I, I can't. I haven't been um, tracking them the way I normally track them. Uh, but but I'm gonna put them in second anyway. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them in second for whatever reason. I think with this new ownership that they got, um, mm-hmm. some of these players they they've been building. They've been building over there. The Giants probably will be my third team, and then I like uh, Dallas last. I think they they gonna tank. Wow, yeah, I think they're gonna take. You think last. Dallas gonna be last? Yeah, I think they're gonna tank this year. Why? I don't. The think writing's on the wall. The writing's on the wall. They want to. They want a first round pick to rebuild. They want to rebuild. Yeah, they, 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 nah. they, they don't want to they give back sixty million dollars. They didn't pay back. Yeah, yeah. Like, tanking ain't gonna be the answer. That's gonna look bad. I'm, I'm talking. That's gonna look bad. You mean to Unless, tell me you got one of the best? You, you got I, you, you got one of the best receivers. You got one of the you still got one of the best offensive lines. You got Zach Martin, those guys over there. So I mean, you got a great offensive line. You got weapons at receiver. You got weapons on the defensive side of the ball. And y'all gonna tank? Oh yeah. You don't have a running back. So I guess if you got a rookie, you can run your rookie. But yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to pay Dak. Wow. You wanted to pay Dak. That would tell me that you guys were were definitely um, you know into the season, not paying yeah. your quarterback. And and you know what we had preseason, you still haven't paid him, and he can't get franchise. You can't trade him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah, you, no don't do, you don't you don't you don't think they're the next move is like Cooper Rush or Trey Lance? I mean, I mean that versus I, uh versus finishing last in the that's a that's a big drop, bro. Maybe you but don't have to finish wins last. To maybe, last. Maybe, maybe you don't have to finish last, and you are. Thinking about trading up to get to Shadur Sanders. Ooh, I would love that's or thing. Quinn Yours. Quinn Yours is a Texas boy, and he's got he's got a lot of physical traits. He's got a lot of tools, so that's possible. But know? I don't think he's up for like another two years. No, no, no. Quinn Yours is after after this year. He's out. He could have left last year. You know, I'm thinking of Manning. I think I'm thinking of Manning. I'm so okay, yeah, yeah. You're thinking, thinking of Manning. Manning. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, when I look at the division, I don't. I mean, it's anybody can. Anybody can win. I know that Philly is going to probably bully that division, without question. Philly going to bully it. Yeah. They they just got all the tools. Um, mm-hmm. Everybody else still in rebuild phase, and mm-hmm. or they just not paying nobody. So mm-hmm. you so, the second, you're not going to make the playoffs. Not in that division, no. Yeah. So what's the point? Pride. <laughs> um. All right, so I'm looking at this slightly differently. I'm looking at Philly. I think Washington can surprise some people, then Dallas, then New York. I I hate to see the Giants suck like this. Well, I don't care that much. But the same thing I said. Bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. I had I had the Giants over uh, Dallas. Yeah. Dallas. Over. Yeah, you had yeah. Dallas finishing last. Yeah, yeah. Last name, you're right. We we haven't seen uh, Trey Lance yet, and and that's that's a fair point. But I think. I think I could be wrong, but if if uh hold on, looks like we got a call here. Let's see who this is. Already? Man, we ain't even opened up the lines yet. I know, right? You calling format podcast. Who's this? This is Frankie from Miami. How you doing? What's up, Frankie? How you doing? I'm going oh to- <laughs> so, uh I just want to chime in, you know. What uh what what topic were you waiting to chime in on? Philly. All right. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, Frankie. Listen. Let's do this. Let's uh-huh. let. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna finish. Uh, finish our wrap up talking about the division. <laughs> call me back as soon as I say we're gonna open the phone lines up. Call me back. All right. I got all you. Right. I'm. I'm waiting for your call. All right. I'm waiting for your call because you're a new caller. So I'm gonna make sure all I right. take your call. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. I expected that call. Uh huh. Why? He's a diehard Eagle fan. Got you. He's a diehard Eagle fan. That's my brother Frankie. He's in Miami. It okay, didn't okay. hit me at first. He said Frankie. I'm like, yeah, yeah, Frankie, yeah. Miami. You got like a a phone call from some some type of business <laughs> calling okay. your phone. 
But no, man, that's that's my brother, man. Military brother, we served on my second uh, ship together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna leave that alone. You're all sailors on the ship together. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say anything about that. You know. But uh, oh, we y'all, we in a you in a right box hole together with your friends. I mean, what, what's the difference? Hey, what's man. The difference? I, 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 I I'm in a fox you know, hole. You don't think that I mean, sounds I mean, a little bit stranger than shit? Oh, pause. I mean, I mean, I was in the foxhole with my brothers. You know, you know what? I'm I'm just saying we we don't we don't have our name on the back of our pants. I'm gonna just say that. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> 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 no, nah, all right, moving right along. Um, so. Um, that is actually a great point. Last name Daniels might have RG three impact, and that's why if you don't get that's hurt, why, that's why I have Washington where I did because right, Jaden Daniels along with Cliff Kingsbury. Remember, he's the new OC there, and he might not be a great head coach, but he can call some offense, and mm. so I think that's going to be good. Also, you got you know you got Terry McLaurin out there, which is a very good weapon on the outside. I think that's dangerous. Um, uh, I think overall it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> uh here we go. <laughs> what happens on the ocean stays on oh. the ocean. Yeah, clearly that's not us. You, There's you, only one sailor on this panel. You, so you the only one that's in the foxhole with your brothers. You in some type of hole with your brothers. So I'm mean, out. Hey man, G- whoa, whoa, pause. That's y'all, man. That's what I'm saying. Hey, 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 G is my brother, and I, I I have never I've never been in a foxhole with him. I gotta say. <laughs> So I I couldn't tell you. <laughs> that's uh that's not cool. Uh yes, Josh Dotson, absolutely. So um Washington has some weapons. Um they got a new OC, they're gonna have an improved defense under Dan Quinn. I think they can I think they can surprise some people, man. I really do. Yeah. Um um Dallas, man. Dallas, I think I think they really have problems because I don't know how motivated is that going to be to really go out there and give us everything for Dallas. Is he going to kind of, kind of play not to get hurt so that he can get the big money on the free agency market after this season um, hmm. when he goes out there, which I, I don't know why you would give Dak big money on free agency. Anyway, <laughs> but I wouldn't do it. But, I mean, is he going to have that mindset? Is he going to be playing that way? Um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Michael Parsons. How is he going to feel? He's up for his deal after this year. Is mm-hmm. he going to be concerned about whether or not he's going to get paid? And again, we talked about C.D. Lamb. So I just feel like there's so much going on with Dallas that's not even on the field. It's going to be problematic. And uh, Mike McCarthy, he's coaching and he may be coaching for his job. Like there's just too much going on because Dallas is more concerned about the soap opera than they are about winning football games. And I think that's really going to hurt them this year. I think they're going to be third in the, the division. I really do. Um, ooh. Yeah, yeah, Steve. I, I can I can agree with that. I mean, I've never believed in Dak, uh, not from the beginning, mm-hmm. because even when he won offensive rookie of the year, he won offensive rookie of the year getting busy off um literally off of uh Zeke's back, Zeke running for over sixteen hundred yards. So it's like, come on, man. Um, so yeah, I I've never been a Dak believer. Yeah, he can put up some big numbers, but you know, like Shannon Sharp said, empty calories. Empty calories. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's what Dak is about. Empty calories, you know? So I'm I'm not really with it. Uh any schedules you guys want to look at to kind of get you know what? Let's look at this cowboy schedule. I mean, I'm looking at it now and I'm about to renounce my decision. All right, let's see. Hold on. Uh I'm literally about to renounce my decision. I I didn't notice the schedule before I said mm-hmm. what I said. Right. Because I'm looking at some matches and I'm like, boy, that doesn't look good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let let's let's run this down. So start out at Cleveland. That's a loss. That pass rush is ferocious, and you don't to to what G said. You don't have a running back to even attempt to slow that thing down. You can't run the football. You can't shorten the game. You can't slow it down by by making them stop the run or be able to keep Dak out of harm's way more by stopping the run. So I think that's a loss. Um, yeah. Uh, versus New Orleans, that's a win. Versus Baltimore, we know that's a loss. Uh, <laughs> Versus uh versus New York. Uh they'll I beat think the they Giants. Win that game. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. At Pittsburgh. That's that's a tough game. Um still waiting to see. It, I tell you what, figure it out at that point. See, yeah, still waiting to see who is their who's Pittsburgh's starting quarterback yeah. and if if they got Brandon Ayuk on the team as well. So, you know. Um, all right, I got you, Steve. We'll pull up Philly's schedule next. I got you. Good looks. Um, where were we? So Pittsburgh, you know Pittsburgh. what? Let's go, let's go with Dallas. 
I'm, 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 gonna down, I'm gonna throw him a bone on this versus right. Detroit. They're gonna lose that game. Detroit's gonna beat them at San Francisco. In Dallas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Detroit's gonna beat them. Detroit gonna beat them in Dallas? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Detroit is an outstanding team. They play indoors, so that's gonna be nothing. Um, they got a great O-line, so they're gonna neutralize the pass rush. If okay. we notice, Michael Parsons is an elite pass rusher, except against the good teams. <laughs> he racks up a lot of sacks against the bums. Um, they're gonna be able to neutralize pass rush. They got one of the best O-lines in football. Uh, they can run the ball. They can throw the ball. I, I think that I think Dallas loses that game. Yeah. Um, at San Francisco, they're going to lose that game. At Atlanta, they'll beat Atlanta. Versus Philly, I think Philly's going to beat them. Versus Houston, I think Houston is going to beat them. Uh, at Washington, that's always a tough one. Um, and they play them close every year. Mm -hmm. They play them close. Rivalry game. It's at Washington. So I think them, Washington I be shot. Yeah, I think they'll split. I think they'll home and home uh versus new york i i think they're going to i think they're going to beat them again i think the giants just they just look bad versus cincinnati they are going to get beat as long as joe burrow healthy they're losing that game um versus at carolina they'll beat carolina versus tampa bay i think tampa bay is going to beat them uh at philly i think they lose at philly and versus washington i think uh i think they they win that one what do you got? Well, you got him going seven and ten. I don't believe. <laughs> I do not believe. You got him going seven and ten. I, I differ. I differed on a couple of them. Um, okay. I do think they split with Philly. Okay. Um, so I, I added that one in my did, repertoire. Did I, did I have Philly beating them twice? Yeah, you had Philly beating them twice. Okay. You know what? Let's change that. I, I, yeah. I can. I can deal with a split. That's fine. So that'll be eight and nine for you then. Okay. There we go. So eight and nine for you. Um, yeah. I think my other change. I know. I feel like they can beat Detroit in Dallas early. That's I feel like cool. they can beat them. Nah, Detroit is real deal. Um, I had one more. What was my one more? Tampa. I think. I think they can. I think they can beat Tampa. We'll see what Tampa's made of with Baker Mayfield. He got yeah, his money. He, can, he has nothing to show off for. And he so still I has. Think, he still has his weapons, and they have a really good defensive coach. So that's true. Solid defense. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But now. Yeah. We got to see if Baker's going to continue to be Baker. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? So yep. I think that's why I kind of gave Cowboys that, especially that's they're cool. in Dallas as well. So I'm not mad. You know, I'm not mad. Yeah. All right, let's go. Um, let's go to the Philly schedule. We got a request for that. Um, all right. So Eagles, ooh, open up versus your Packers. Oh wow, that's going to be a fantastic. And I think it's overseas too. It's in. Oh, um, that. That's the Brazil game. Yeah, yeah, yeah Brazil. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a great game. Oh my gosh! Ooh, I can't even. You know, you pick. Gee, who's gonna win that game, man? I do not know. That's I'm tough. biased. You know what I'm pick. I already got you. Gee, who's gonna win that game, man? Green Bay. Oh, man. That's tough. Uh, That's I like. Cool uh, I like Green Bay. I mean, what, what's there to not to like about Green Bay this year? They, facts. I mean, they got they got young, speedy facts, receivers. Yeah. They can run the football. They got yeah. a they got a, a a happy young quarterback who's only gonna get better. Man, that's tough. Paid one too. Paid, right? That's why I say he's happy. Being that's why I say he's happy. You got his, <laughs> you got his bread up, man. Okay, so we'll go Green Bay there. That's all right. Um, versus Atlanta, we know that's a win at New Orleans. That's a win at Tampa Bay. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Philly wins that. Tampa Bay beat Philly. In this the, the rematch, yeah. This the rematch. Yeah. So I'm gonna say Philly wins that. Okay. Um, versus Cleveland. That's a tough game. Oh, and Philly, Fox, one o'clock, mm. October. Mm. To me, I that think I'm gonna really, give it. I'll give it Philly. That really hits on Philly. Nick Chubb, but then yeah, Philly got Saquon. I forgot about mm -hmm. that. That's, that's yeah, I'm a, gonna get out of Philly. A big move. That's a big move. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Steve, that's funny. I didn't even pick up on that when you when you put your scores up there. All right, um, uh, where are we? Um, yeah, uh, so you got Philly over Cleveland. Yeah, I got Philly over Cleveland. Yeah, okay. So we uh, four and one now. Bad. All right. Uh, at New York, they're gonna beat the Giants. The Giants mm -hmm. are gonna suck this year. At Cincinnati, oh, that's a good one. I'm going Cincinnati here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Cincinnati versus Jacksonville. They're they gonna beat, beat them. The Jags at Dallas. So we got to split it. So they at Dallas split. on this one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a. I think I give this one to Dallas here. I think they All split right. home and home. I think that's what I had said. All right. 
Um, at Dallas, uh, Washington, Washington. they're going to be Washington versus at Rams. That's interesting. Um, I think they're going to beat the Rams. I think the Rams take a step back this year. They're going to be solid, but uh, I think they're going to have real difficulty stopping the run without Aaron Donald. Okay. Life without Aaron Donald is going to be interesting. Um, at Baltimore, they're going to lose that one, especially. I think they, they beat, beat Baltimore. Baltimore. So I'm going to nah, check that. I think they're going to lose, especially how they beat Baltimore last night. So Baltimore is going to be like, oh, that was preseason. This new ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're going to wipe Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're going to smoke them. Uh, versus Pittsburgh. Good game. Good game. At Philly? No. Yes, at Philly. Oh, at this point, we'll, we'll know who the quarterback is for Philly. Yeah. I mean, Pittsburgh. Right. Um, so we go, we go Philly right now. Okay. That's so tough because we don't know. There's still things falling into place for Pittsburgh. All right. Yeah. Um, at Washington, I think they'll be Washington. I think they'll beat them twice. Now at Dallas, you got to lose this one because yeah, them, yeah, right? lose Dallas, and then I think they'll beat New York. They beat New York again. Yeah. So yep, Twelve yep. and five. I think Philly can do that. It's gotta a good win it. Yeah. Gotta win it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta win it. I renounced my decision, guys. I renounced my decision. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. I was I was I was hype on the, the regular season train of Dallas. Mm -hmm. Frankie, I apologize before you call back in. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and open up the phone lines. I'm waiting for you, Frankie from Miami. Let's open up the phone lines. The number is uh, let me put it back up here. It's 904-219-8264. 904 904-219-8264. Two one nine eight two six four. Oh man, Steve, we were good. We were good until you mess around and say you're a Steeler fan. You got two Ravens on the panel right here, man. That's not gonna make it, Steve. Nah, nah, nah. I can't do it. Frankie from Miami, what's good, bro? What's going on, man? Maintaining, doing? man. Doing all right, man. Thank you for calling for my podcast. I appreciate you. Oh, it's all good, man. Yeah, yeah. I ain't know. I ain't, I ain't know when to call like this. <laughs> I just called out of turn, my bad. But uh you good. I'm a um so as far as like the ranking, I yeah. got and I'm not being biased. I'm gonna explain the reason why I got the Eagles going number one. Okay. I, he's gonna, gonna have it that way no matter what. So don't don't lie to us. Yeah, man, man. Chill transformer. Let's hear what Frankie gotta right, say, so, man. So I got <laughs> I got I got the Eagles at one. Okay. I'ma still I'ma still put the Cowboys at two. I think they make the playoffs, but they're like one of the last seed. Okay. Um Watch. I have Washington at three. Like mm -hmm. I feel, I feel like they got better, but they still they still got some holes they got to fill. Okay. Okay. And then of course, of course New York at four. Yeah. All right. Now the, the reason why um I have the Eagles at number one, Cowboys number two. Mm -hmm. In the off season, what it appears like the Eagles have gotten better on both sides and with coordinators. Mm -hmm. Like the Cowboys didn't do anything in the free agent. Nope, for real. Mm -mm. So it's like we we pick up Kellen Moore. Yeah, when Kellen Moore was at the Cowboys. They had the number one offense two out of the four years, and I think us right now we have a better offense than the Cowboys did in those two years. Can, can, I, like with can I interrupt you for a second, um, Frankie? Go ahead. So yeah. I got a question for you though, as as I understand it, and I think I'm correct in this. Kellen Moore does not like RPO, and RPO game is where Jalen Hurts Jalen Hurt thrives. Right, he thrives in the RPO game, and especially you've got a situation with um, a guy like Saquon. So with with Jalen Hurts and Saquon, and then you got those two freaks on the outside, the RPO game would be a dangerous weapon. So I'm just wondering, like, it, do you think that um, do you think that Kellen Moore is going to be willing to adjust his scheme to include more of that? I mean, shit. If he want to win, he's gonna have to adjust <laughs> just a little bit, you know. I, I agree. A lot of coaches, a lot of coaches want to win their way, though. Yeah, I mean that's true. But sometimes you gotta, you gotta be a little open minded. We'll have to see whenever Jalen Hurts actually plays in the mm -hmm. preseason. We'll, we'll give a little taste of what the the Jalen Hurts Saquon Barkley show going. Is Jalen like. gonna play in the preseason? I, I would. Yeah. I, nah, because last I mean, you year, know these kids these days, days man. And the chemistry wasn't there. Yeah, right, that's game. the problem. You got to develop game. chemistry with your teammates. You got new teammates with Saquon, and you have mm -hmm. a new offensive coordinator. I think you need to play a little bit, man. You need to play a little that, bit. Because, you know, last year, you know what I'm saying, we had got a new offensive coordinator, a new defensive coordinator, mm -hmm. and they didn't play none in the preseason. And That's right, you lost both of them. Right. You know, 
And then on top of that, you know, we got the defensive coordinator from Miami. Miami was a top 10 defense last year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then also oh, Vangio. Vangio. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Yeah, I'm definitely picking Philly number one there. I forgot about that yeah. one. Then we also, you know what I'm saying, we picked up uh, picked up Devin White at linebacker. We got uh, Bryce Huff on the line. You know, we got a lot of good pickups. Mm-hmm. So that's my reason for the Eagles being number one Pick and possibly going to the Super Bowl. It just, it, it's going to depend if now, Taylor now, Moore now and you, Damon Hurts can connect. You, you were good when you say you got the Eagles being number one. In the division, then you then you slipped it in. You thought I didn't catch it, and possibly. Whoa! 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 Oh, man, that was pause. Crazy. That whoa! Was crazy. Yo, my bad. Pause. Okay. That's like first ballot Hall of Fame call, bro. I'm not gonna yeah, lie to you. Yeah, yeah. I I wasn't even. Stop! Stop! Stop, Transformer. I know. Let's, I know let's, was let's start. Let's start over. Let's yes, start let's over. start over. So, right. following your commentary about. <laughs> Follow your commentary about the Eagles winning the division. You followed mm-hmm. that up with a statement that they would possibly go to the Super Bowl, with which I disagreed. There we oh, go. Oh, Philly? Philly going to the Super Bowl? That's what he said. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't hear possibly. him right after? I didn't say. I yeah, he didn't said say possibly. I he said, said possibly. possibly. I, I, and I think that's tough because the mm-hmm. NFC, man, San Francisco and Detroit, game, and Green Bay, man, mm-hmm. NFC – it's the NFC road is easier than the AFC, but it's still going to be a tough road once you once you hit those playoffs. Uh I can slightly agree. I, I will say the NFC is definitely a, like like the, the road is not easy as it used to be. Before. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. It's even like the, the teams that like were bad, they're getting better. Like Detroit, Detroit is a Super Bowl contender in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Even Green Bay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I don't say Green Bay is a Super Bowl contender yet, but they're definitely playoff bound. Oh yeah, they're yeah, very. We definitely playoff bound. They'll they'll be second in their division, I think. Yeah, I agree. And then, like I said, with the Cowboys, like you know, they lost Pollard, which I that I think was a disappointing season last year. Yeah, he got the thousand, but I thought he was going to be a lot more better than where he was last year. Okay. Um, they bring back Zeke, but Zeke is like fucking two hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> so you you don't have a home run hitter no more. No, you do. And not. of course, you know what I'm saying. You got the fiasco going with CD Lamb and the owner. Yep. So me I personally, I'm very drunk. I'm paying that for it. Yeah, I think you need to because it's it, you. You got to because Dak is probably out of there. So mm-hmm. even if you get a young quarterback next year, whether even if it's Cooper Rush, if it's Trey Lance. Or even if you manage to get one of these guys out of the draft, you trade up, you get a Quinn Ewers, you get a Shadur Sanders, or whoever it may be, you got an mm. all-pro weapon for them to throw to. I think that's the best way to go about it. But hey, what do I know? I'm just I'm just sitting here talking, right? Literally, that's what you are doing, though. So. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's exactly that's what we're doing. doing. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that that that's that's my whole outlook on the okay. NFC. I'm not mad at that. Um, I'm okay with that. That's not ridiculous at all. Um, anything else you want to add before I let you go? Um, yeah. Um, fuck the Packers. We will beat their ass in Brazil. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> All right, brother, man. I'm going to lock you in. So I, I know, uh, I know who you are next time you call, man. I, I appreciate you calling. Thank you for watching the show, man. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, man. And make sure you share it too. Yeah, I, I already subscribed and everything. I'll make sure I share it. Share. Love you, Bass. I appreciate hey, that. Appreciate man. it. Love you, boy. All right. All right. Have a good one, man. All right. That was a good call. That was fair. I don't. I don't think that was too much of a homer call. It seemed pretty objective to me. No, I like it. And then I forgot. I definitely forgot about Big Vangio going over there. I did mm. like that. I remember. Um, I, I believe when that happened because I was a little upset. About we was in. A, we was in a running for a defensive coordinator as well okay. at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, Vic right there. And then, like, soon as he left Miami, like, Philly was right on it. It, it, it wasn't even 24 hours. And okay. Vic ended up signing with them and going and going to Philly. So I was like, ah, gotcha. I forgot about that one. Okay. That's a good Well, there, there you have it, team. So uh, today we got through um, – we we hit all our, all our uh, topics. We talked about, uh, obviously, um, Team USA taking the gold for the fifth time in a row at the Olympics. Congrats to them. Got to show them love. Uh, we talked about the AFC East and how we saw that um, playing out. We talked about the NFC East, how that, how that, how we saw that playing out. So um, good show overall. Not, not too long. Sometimes 
we can really get into it and uh and the show can uh really get in depth but um this one was pretty good uh g anything you want to add before we get out of here man nah, man i think this was a really good show um i like the uh team usa that topic was fire um i gotta get yeah. back to you with that that other topic we was talking about yeah man yeah i forgot um, it yeah all right cool so we we're definitely gonna uh prep this um we're definitely gonna prep this uh steph all-time point guard ranking i think that's a good one it's not a good topic <laughs> I you think know, man, if you know basketball it's not a good topic uh, but if you're a yeah. modern day guy then you're like oh yeah. steph curry yeah 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 well we got some people who want to say ridiculous things but nah. we'll let that go for now um so i think our our last two divisions we have to cover in our divisional uh preview series are going to be afc and nfc south and what i'm working on and I'll, I'll get with you guys is um i got a i got a surprise lined up for that and um so hopefully something about them coats man you're gonna throw some coat <laughs> stuff at us like you did last um, time hey we'll we'll see man we'll see I, I definitely um i definitely think i got something good in the works for that so you guys look out for that uh next show should be wednesday evening might be tuesday um, so just keep an eye out, make sure you have your notifications on. So you get notified yep. whenever we go live and, uh, you can watch and just make sure again, you're liking and subscribing and make sure you're sharing the channel. Cause we're doing our best to bring you real sports content, not just pushing narratives, but also make it entertaining. You know, I got these two clowns on here with me, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, See what um, do you think of us, G? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Tough out here in these streets, man. Yeah. Yeah. Disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, we'll let you go. So, um, yeah, that, that's it. And uh, we're out. Peace. Go, Pat. Go.